look. Just look at that. Oh. What a perfect start of the vlog. Guys. <laughs> Dang it. I just hurt my finger so, so bad. I want to cry. This is really bad start of the vlog. Wow. Okay, guys. So, first of all, Merry Christmas. <laughs> To be honest, right now it's snowing outside and it's really beautiful and cozy and uh, yesterday actually me and my boyfriend with our pup went on a little road trip. Today is another day and today I want to make up for the previous day when I did not do any work almost and I feel guilty right now. So today will be a plant maintenance vlog themed video because I have so much stuff to do guys. And you would think, oh my gosh, Svetlana, you have so many plants, you're probably supposed to be so happy to have such a beautiful collection, such a big collection and stuff. But guys, recently it became a pain in my soft place. <laughs> guys, actually, I, uh, I want to cry inside right now because if you don't know yet, if you missed my previous video, I actually found trips on my plants, not on my casual plants, but also on my variegated Monstera. And it was just heartbreaking, to be honest, because I just made, I made a treatment for it, but it did not work because today, once again, I checked on my variegated Monstera and once again found trips. So, you know, it's just like, just, it just, uh. <laughs> but anyway, I would think right now that I need to check all of my plants. I already did, but I need to do a second round because you never know. And I started to check on my plants. I was not actually thinking about doing this video, but then I found another very awesome surprise because why not? <laughs> because who else would love right now to have only trips? When you can have a whole bouquet of different bugs in your apartment, when the windows are pretty much closed all the times. And oh my gosh, so when you think that I am mad because I found trips, just wait till I show you what I found else. Do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see these white spots that looks like cotton? Dang it, people, I'm so mad. <laughs> this, this, ah. Uh... So this is a plant that I got from a plant swap that I attended about a couple months ago. So I swapped this Opuntia to my Monstera Peruca, I think, which is, is, it's a weird story actually, because the lady came to my table with my plants, she found my Monstera Peru and she said, I will take this a little bit and walked away. And I was like, what the hell? So I followed her, like wanted to ask what the heck are you doing? Why I just took my plant and left, you know? And she, uh, I was, uh, this cutting was swapped in a tissue paper, you know, it's all keeping all moist and nice. And she took it out of my packaging and showed to another lady and said, do you think this will grow? Do you think this is a legit cutting? And I was standing there behind her. Are you kidding me? What the hell are you doing? Why just taking out my cuttings from my table and taking them out of my, you know, packaging and just without any explanation or anything. And she, she wasn't the sweetest person, I'm not going to lie. So she asked me to swap for this cutting and I noticed that when she was ripping off it from my tissue paper, she was holding on the root that was on this cutting. So when she took it out, she was still holding the root and the plant itself was in her other hand. So she ripped off the root on this Monstera Peru and I was, I was mad, but I did not say anything and I just said, give me this Opuntia. And this Opuntia actually had another leaf on top, as you can tell, the top is cut that off in here, right? So I said, just give me this three level Opuntia and you know what she did? She cut off the bottom part. Uh, she cut off the top part of this cut of this cacti and gave me that one leaf And I was like, oh hell no <laughs> Are you flipping kidding me? This is a monstera peru for this one. It was tiny leaf like this. It's already dead to be honest So I I was okay. I was mad But long story short we had a conversation and she gave me whole plant later. So 
This plant gave me spider mite. Mealy bugs. Moral of the story, stay away from, from these kind of ladies. So, I'm not sure if I want to rescue this Apuntia because it gives me a headache. <laughs> Whenever I would see this Apuntia, I already, always have this, you know, bad feeling inside of me, bad memories inside of me, and I don't like it, to be honest. So, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet, but I probably should, you know, treat it and all of this stuff. But since I have, like, around a hundred plants collection in my home, and I already found trips, and I already found mealybugs, it's time to check on all of my plants, all of them. And I mean by checking, not just taking a glance, but you know, spying on every single leaf and just, just Sherlock Holmes stuff, you know? <laughs> so I thought why not to take you along because I already found, I think about eight plants with trips. So I will need to care of that. I also need to water my plants. I also need to check on all of my plants. I also need, <sighs> also need to clean that mess that you saw in the beginning of this video because all of the soil is still on the ground so this should be a really fun video because <sighs> so buckle up guys take something nice to drink because we have a lot of work to do so <sighs> let's do it right let's just let's just do it Okay, so this one actually, it's okay, it's completely fine, but it's dusty, can you tell? So I need to clean the leaves on it, let's do it. So guys, how are you doing? Do you have all of the Christmas decorations on? Do you feel the Christmas spirit already? Because, well, that's not a good sign. Oh yeah, oh yeah so many good news today i love it i love it so much <sighs> so my homolonima have trips as well that's awesome because i was so glad that none of my plants in the kitchen had any bugs but here we are so it's getting only better and better Okay, so here we are, another cactus with mealybox. And it was standing on this shelf. So it's so, so obvious that many more plants should be there with mealybox. And even though I might not notice them right now, but in a couple weeks, who knows, maybe even a month, they should, can show up. So. <laughs> another one. And this is the Opuntia that I'm scared of to touch because these tiny fluffy looking spikes are deadly. <laughs> they just, they will, oh, they will be everywhere if I will touch it. That's why I keep it as far from myself as possible. And it has a mealybug over here on this leaf. Fun, right? Question, how should I see mealybugs on this cactus? Please give me your answers because this whole plant is just a big white fluff which I love don't get me wrong that's why I got it right but what do I do now how do I see it so I'm getting really mad right now and this is not the vibe that I want to show in my videos but sometimes this is just the flipping reality and even though it's so much fun to watch these plants grow, to collect them, to buy new ones and you know just to have them, to own them, but oh my gosh, when things like this happen, it just feels like you're going downhill, you know, because you don't know if you will be able to save all of them, you have no idea how many others will get this disease and oh my gosh guys, right now I'm not in a good spot, so I will try to be as positive as possible right now but I'm not promising anything. So let's keep on looking. And also my philodendron micas died, so. Right, what a day, what a great day, guys. Just look at it, it's dead. 
Can you tell that I'm on the edge of crying? Because I am. I really am. Another good news is that my another philodendron finally started to show new growth. So this is a philodendron that I got from Vea from the winding leaf. And it has strips. Huh? Huh? Guess what? Guess what, guys? This huge philodendron emerald red, red has strips. Huh? Isn't that awesome? Just look at this big, beautiful plant. It's a perfect plant for trips. Huh? Welcome back. So, it's been about 30 minutes right now. I checked on all of my plants. Let me show you all of these happy plants. Behind me are all of the plants with bugs. So over here are all of these cacti who have mealy bugs. And over here are everybody big plants, small plants. We have a really big variety and all of them have trips. I just finished crying which wasn't fun I am so happy that I had you know boyfriend's shoulder but but you know what today is a sucky day it's it just is oh okay this is really not a good wine I tried to look cool but no I feel bad I'm not going to lie this is the vlog that isn't going the way I was thinking it's supposed to go I thought I will find you know a couple plants and I will do a nice you know take care of them video and it will be all good but no we have in here like one-fifth of my whole collection and some of these plants are huge so I don't know guys okay this is me to be honest I'm I'm really bad Russian because I am not good at drinking <laughs> I mean if I will drink I will probably stay sober much longer than you will but then I'm hooked <laughs> so most of the time I'm not drinking anything strong like vodka or stuff most of the time I drink wine but this one is just like Ugh. but anyway not about that so what we're doing next well behind me is my bathroom and I just uploaded a video a couple days ago about trips on my channel and I, re and I read all of your comments and most of people said that first of all I need to give all of my plants a soap bath so I have I have a lot of bathing to make I don't have enough soil to do the repotting so what is happening I will take all of these plants off the pots I will take care of all the bad soil so I'll just dump it out and then I will put them in my bath with a dish soap I think because some of you said the dish soap should, should work so then after putting them in the bath I will keep them in there for at least a couple hours and after bath I will give them a medication so I have neem oil medication so I will spray them all with it it's not getting better why, why I keep on drinking it So in here actually is growing my philodendron Brazil, right? It's sad, I know. But also in here is a little pine cone. So I actually planted this uh, philodendron, I think about a year ago in my balcony. And while I'm potting, probably some seed from the outside fell into this pot. So right now I am growing a little tiny pine tree. And I'm so afraid to change anything for it because outside plants, you know, are a little bit perky to grow inside. I mean, <laughs> pretty much all of the plants are outside plants, but you get it, right? So... Update! 
So most of my plants are out of the pots. Oh, okay. So as you can tell, my garbage bucket is almost full. Okay. Oh wow, look at that right. Because there were many, many plants with big pots. So that wasn't fun. Also, I made more mess. Huh? Fun, isn't it? So I also have that big Monstera Deliciosa that needs to be reported, but I just did it two days ago, so we'll see. I'll try to not take it out of the pot and see how this will go. I will obviously not take out that Opuntia because I already found a spike in my hand and even though I did not touch it, I only, only touched the pot, so that's fun. <laughs> But since all of these plants are ready for a bath, let's go to my bathroom and see what we'll do next. Hi! <laughs> so right now we are in my bath and I'm not sure how I should do it, so I'll just wing it. So I'll just bring a ton of a dish soap and a ton of water and I'll just fill it up and put most of my plants in here. All of my plants right now are in a bathtub Looking good <laughs> So I probably will leave them in here for at least a couple hours. I'm not sure how I should keep all of them under the water because some of them just want, you know, to stay up. For example, this huge philodendron sleeve. So try to, you know, play around with them, make like a tiny puzzle and fit them all in one place. And then I'll be back. Update. So I tried to put them all as deep under the water as I could. I piked myself, poked myself a couple times with the cactus, which was fun because right now it feels like a minefield. I don't remember well where I put my big mammillaria, so it will be fun to take everything out. <laughs> did not talk, to, did not thought about it, but anyway. Now I have a ton of flower pots that I will need to disinfect, to wash under the hot water, also. Rocky is looking for one of my pots, which is nice. <laughs> it's time for all of my other plants to get sprayed with fairy. That is over there, so <laughs> this should be fun. Okay guys, so I sprayed all of my plants in the kitchen. Right now I'll go and do the same thing with all of my plants I have. So the worst part is that this dish soap water is just drooling all over my floor. So after spraying all of my plants, I will need to wash my floor. And then I will need to go back to my plants. So what I will do, I'll just take them out of that bath. I will clean all of their leaves with some kind of towel probably. And I will spray them with neem oil. And then for today, this probably will be it because I will need to go and buy some soil for them. I will need to disinfect the pots. How I will do it, I'll just wash them with hot water and dish soap as well. And then I will need to report them to the new pots, new soil, new everything, you know? 
So that's probably where, where I will finish today's video because my MSD card is running out of the space for the videos because I have a couple videos already filmed in there so I just cannot film too much because I have less than 10% space so this is a little bit sad because I wanted to capture everything for you guys but you know life happens I mean this video is a complete proof that sometimes everything goes not by the way you plan but I hope it's, this video still was a little bit entertain, entertaining for you and I will see you in my next one because I'll obviously do some updates I will show you how I reported all of my plans and all of this jazz will be on this channel so if you're feeling like sticking around please think about subscribing to my channel to like liking this video commenting something let's chat a little bit and I will see you in my next one bye